Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So this video is gonna be our grocery haul. It's actually supposed to be for the last couple of weeks of August, but I only had $50 gift card left because I used one $50 gift card for stock ups. And so this is all I was able to get. It's a lot actually for $50 and I actually spent $47.22. I actually got some fuel points and I have about $2 and some change left on the card. So let me share with you what I got. Um, we are going into a heavier meat week, so carnivore, but we're gonna, I'm gonna do some light veggies, not real sure about sister. She may just specifically stick with the meats or meat products, which would be eggs and butter. We tried dairy free week. Didn't seem to make a huge difference in my weight loss. Um, what does seem to make a difference in my weight loss is fasting, intermittent fasting, but I'm not an intermittent faster. I just, uh, for several days, I ate enough during the daytime um, at work from breakfast and lunch that by the time I got home in the evening, I really wasn't that hungry. So I didn't have dinner a couple nights, which for me was totally fine because like I said, I was full. Um, so I try to pack a pretty substantial lunch so that I am getting you know, the proteins and all the things that I need, the fats during the day, and it worked out fine for me. So let me share with you what I did pick up from Harris Teeter. We shopped at Harris Teeter. And let me just say, you guys, that those gift cards were like the best idea ever. And so starting in September, I will go back to doing gift cards. Whatever my grocery budget is, I'll pull off $50 off the top, make that into a gift card. I'm actually thinking about just making my whole groceries my grocery budget gift cards. That way I don't have to worry about having the cash. And I'm not overspending. Um, but I'm still thinking about that. So here, um, um, here Cedar had like a $1.99 sale. Not sure what all was going on. But six ears of corn was $1.99. So I picked up six of those. Jackson likes corn. And then our friend who comes over and has dinner with us, she likes corn. So I'm going to do like a Mexican street corn. Um, for them, I'm not going to eat that. Um, probably me and sister won't eat the corn, but that's okay. Jackson likes it. Uh, then he got some golden delicious apples. They were $1.99. Oranges, these are navel oranges. They were $1.99. Carrots, the whole carrots for two pounds were 99 cents. So I went ahead and picked up two because we like to do the ginger carrots. And I'm also going to do cabbage for dinner today. And I'm going to throw some carrots in the, in the cabbage. Um, their cabbage was 59 cents a pound. It was a really good deal because sometimes it's like 79 cents or more. So 59 cents, I picked up two heads of cabbage. I'll do one for dinner today and then one for later in the week. I may go ahead and cook it all today and then I'll just freeze what we don't eat. Um, mild taco season, this is a prep, two for a dollar. Yes, I can make my own, but I had an extra dollar. I just picked it up. Uh, sister likes bologna, and then we can also do chaffles or poffles. So um, she can have bologna on her chaffle or poffle. That was 99 No, this was $1.29, and the Gwaltney hot dogs were $0.99. Cents. Picked up some of this hot Italian sausage. We have some mild sausage, so I figured if I mix those two together, we can make like sausage balls, or we could actually do like sausage meatballs and just have a sausage meat like this with meat sauce and then some cheese sprinkled on top to have like a meatball bake. That was two fifty. Then they had this one steak that I'm thinking about for lunch. It was a markdown for two eighty four. This is the um, chuck eye steak. Uh, this was the a free item this week. This Chobani coffee creamer, sweet cream. This is pretty significant on the neck on the net carbs. So four net carbs. So I'll use that sparingly, but um, that was a free item this week. Too Good Yogurt, again, I'm going mostly carnivore, and we do have Carb Smart Yogurt, but I don't like that. I like the Too Good. They were three, four, five, so a little bit more expensive than what I normally pay, but I usually only eat half a yogurt at a time. This chicken, this is a Purdue um, Whole Roaster, was $4.82 on sale. Um, I saved $7, so this chicken was like... $13. Praise the Lord, right? I picked it up. I almost didn't get it, but I said, hey, I'm going to get it. Distilled white vinegar. This is a prep, 99 cents. And then extra virgin olive oil. Somebody, I posted a picture of the olive oil I had, 
and they said is that keto friendly and it had corn uh canola oil in it so it was like a blend so i was like oh i didn't look at that let me not eat that anymore so i just picked up this extra virgin olive oil this was 4.69 we've got this white cheese i'm gonna have this with uh pork rinds 3.99 uh the keto uh pancakes birch benders was 3.50 two for seven they did have the uh, keto waffles, buy one, get one free at $4.99, but we don't like the waffles. We do like this. I add in a little bit of vanilla, and then I'll add in chocolate chips or something of that nature, cinnamon, and we can make those our own. And then for, they didn't have plain broccoli or plain cauliflower, so I got a mix. They were $1.29 each. So there is the grocery haul. I spent right at $47.22. Uh, for that so what you're gonna see me do in the next little bit is i'm gonna go ahead and get some meat i bought um several packages of meat yesterday from food lion and i am going to go ahead and get that meat all seasoned up and then repackaged for the freezer it's not been quite 24 hours that it's been in the fridge but i am going to get that out in just a little bit i'm going to go ahead and season all of that meat up steaks and pork chops and chicken and then i'm going to repackage it in freezer bags and throw it in the freezer so that is ready to go either on the grill or just in a pan uh to be cooked so that's what i'm planning to do so i'll share that with you guys as well in the next little bit all right so i've got hey y'all i've got my um instant pot insert here i just cut up cabbage i'm gonna do both of them simply because they're tiny they're tiny once you take those outside leaves out and i don't want to have to cook this week because i am back at work so i'm getting this in very quickly that was one of the cabbages i am also going to cut the outside leaves because I believe in using it all. And the, the leaves are good. So these are good outside leaves. Also going to be using, thank you, lovely. Mm, yeah. Some of my chicken stock that I have in the freezer, I'm going to give some of it away. But I wasn't able to give all of it away. We're also going to give some to ma'am so she can have some. Um, but it's still not going to be, I'm not going to be able to use it all. So what I plan to do is... Um, we're just going to defrost some of it and just toss it. We, we can't keep it all. I probably have more than 50 bags of stock when I when I went through it yesterday. It's just way too much. Um, but you are going to see me just getting some meal prep stuff done. I've got to get some cleaning done because it's Sunday. And our friend comes over on Sunday to eat dinner with us. And I do want to have all that stuff done by the time she gets here. So I have about two hours it's four o'clock so i'm going to try to get just a couple things done and bring you guys along with me as i'm doing all the things what lovely the corn can go in the oven too yeah mm -hmm. who do you think mm -hmm. not you no not mom it's a lot of flipping Oh, that's not my thing. I don't think I'm into flipping and turning and stuff. Punching. Okay. Punching too? Oh, no. So my how it works is you have three, tar you have two target areas. Oh. Okay. You're allowed to do the toss or slam. And then you have like in the middle of your chest, there's going to be like a small point where they can punch you. Oh. And then you are going to face mask, but they can also punch you in the face. Oh, that's unfortunate. The goal is... Who are these people? The players. Right. The, it's not a big sport. Game. Right, I'm just trying to make sure I know exactly who's trying to punch people in the face. So the goal is to get the other team or into the water or right. foam mat or... Or right. Just off the platform. Off the platform. Right. So you add in taekwondo. Right. Parkour. Mm -hmm. Kickboxing. Ooh, regular so boxing. Mm. And judo. And judo. A little oh, bit of grappling in there. A little bit of grappling. I mean, would it be the same without grappling? It would not. So guess what? Add it in. Add it in, brother. 
add it in. I gotta get that meat um, seasoned up. Get all the meat out. I'm gonna get it seasoned up right now. Let's see here. Just sit it right there. Yeah, I'm gonna get it out right now. Put another handle on it. Yeah. Well, at least it has a handle on it.
enchilada mix all done the only thing we did was we're trying not to use wraps or any type of uh, reddish material so, or ingredients so we didn't do wraps this time but I just made the filling from that um, I pulled out some ground beef and turkey mixture that I had together and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm just uh, I just put the enchilada sauce some green chili um what was that that i used cream cheese i do have some sour cream that i can use but i'm just going to take this now and put it into a pan and let it uh cool and then we'll put it in the fridge and one day that this week that will be a meal so i'm just going to spray this dish and then we'll just dish that up okay our cake is getting ready to beep and come out Let me check this because it may need to go in for a few more minutes. it about let's do three more minutes let's just make sure okay we're going to do about three more minutes on the cakes just to make sure that the inside is done the edges are fine i'm going to dish this out into my pan here And we used up those old radishes that we had just as a way of trying to, I wish I had some greens, like some spinach or something, I would have put that in. But I didn't have any, so next time I'll put in as much veg as gonna go bad. So this is just uh, deconstructed enchiladas is ready to go. We'll see if we have any cheese for this. And it'll just be back in the oven to warm. All right, we're gonna take our cakes out. They're two sheet, uh, two rounds. Yeah, they're done. We did the um, we did the uh, sugar-free pie filling. 
I'm actually gonna just let these sit in the oven. Jack, I'm gonna let them sit in the oven because I don't think the inside, I need to, to make sure that inside is done. Sugar-free um, apple pie filling. I'm just letting that sit in the oven while I'm working on these steaks. All right, I've got some, this is sirloin strip steak. I'm just gonna get all this steak marinated and then put in freezer bags. And then the next time we pull them out, we'll be ready to eat them. This is Chuck Eye. And then this is um, Denver Steak. These are pretty good uh, thickness. And I had two of those. This is the equivalent of just a dry rub for the steaks. I'm just making two steaks out of that one big one. Because me and Alana just share. Mama! Some soy stuff. Nice. Oh, thank you. Uh, also, mom magazine. She got a magazine. 
working. Okay. Um, I was telling her, so I want to tell both you and Jackson and her, I think that the biggest risk for me now since they're going to Avalon is going to be eating stuff that's been close around you guys. So I thought maybe I'd just cut a piece of this off and I brought paper plates. Oh, sure. So Absolutely. Absolutely. I still want to be with you guys, but I think I've got to be careful with them. Absolutely. Out and about now. You be as careful as you need to be well, and we are be okay with it. I forget. Jackson, honey, will you give this to mom? You can bring me back the bag of the other ones. Did I tell you that I want that opportunity? She did. I said, Congratulations. You know what? I, and, and he said, because I was thinking, you said you had that extra clause. I said, Do you use it for everything? Because you can put everything in that. Well, that's I need why. to, and I forget that it's outside. But now that he's not vegetarian, he can bring me. This is live great here. It's live? What is it? The oh. caramel apple, apple vanilla cake. Keto cake. Is it live? Just make you want to binge eat. <laughs> binge eat that right there. But we're not going to binge eat. No, we're not because mom would kill me. Probably. All right, you guys. So here's the last of what I'm working on. This is, in this bowl, I just have some chicken tenderloins and I have some chicken breasts. Um, I got a recipe from Deb. She sent this to me. This is sparkling orange mango marinade. And so you just use one sparkling orange mango um, drink. I'm going to use lime juice because I don't have a fresh lime. I'm going to use garlic. The only thing I don't have is... Um, jalapeno but we don't really like spice around anyway and then i'm gonna add in some oregano and so i'm um, gonna add in some oregano that i think i have well maybe i don't have it's oregano oh, okay i have oregano so i'm gonna add some of that in 
and we're gonna mix this up and I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer and then we'll pull it out when we're ready to do just like a quick meal. All right, so I'm just gonna put, this says a cup and a half and there are 17 ounces. So there's two cups. And there's a lot of chicken in there. This does say to pulse it all in your uh, blender, but we are not pulsing anything in the blender. We are garlic people, so we're gonna live our best garlic life. And then I'm just going to stir this around. This says to let it marinate for six hours or overnight. We're gonna actually just put this in the freezer. I've cleaned out my um, freezer. I've gotten a lot of stuff out. So I'm gonna throw this into Ziploc bags, Ziploc freezer bags. And we're gonna write on this that this is sparkling orange mango chicken. Oh, and it did say olive oil, which I forgot. In here, I have chicken breasts, uh, strips, well, um, sliced chicken breasts, and then I have chicken tenderloins. Smells great. Okay, so those are the breasts. Okay, here we have half of the tenderloins. Then we have the other half of the tenderloins. It's not quite half. I'll take one or two of these out. And now I'm just going to pour that marinade in there. All right, you guys, so there it is, our grocery haul and a little bit of meal prep. We didn't cook anything except the cabbage. Um, other than that, I was just trying to make sure I processed that meat, got it all seasoned up back in the freezer. We did give away some of our stock. I used some stock today, so I'm just gonna start pulling from that stock to make sure that I'm able to use up what it is that I have in that freezer. 
Um, some of it we, we will lose. I just don't have the space for it in that freezer, but I'm going to be okay with that um, and be mindful, more mindful next time. It is what it is. So anyway, just wanted to share that little bit with you guys. Thank you all so much for stopping by. If you liked the video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye now.